Hey guys, this is Danielle Fritz. I am your environmental toxin expert and educator where I work on the practical side of detoxing you and your home, you, and that is in your home by just basically not bringing in some of the toxic products that add to your overall toxin load, your body burden, and that of your families. I want to address a question. As I am taping this video, it is, we are right at the very beginning here in the United States. Um, dealing with the coronavirus, dealing with this pandemic. And I get, I've been just getting questions right over left. What should I be using in my home? What's going to kill this virus? It's going to leave you with this. If you bring in a harsh abrasive cleaner, something like a Lysol or a Clorox wipe, please, please, please read the packaging thoroughly because I've noticed that people that use these products generation to generation do not know the proper usage of these products and it's imperative that you read the directions and use them properly i have some right here to show you um because in i carry these for examples because one of the things i like to point out on these products is again when you're reading the label is it literally says on a precautionary statement it says hazardous to humans and domestic animals if you're going to bring this product in your home or this lysol disinfectant spray please read the labels please protect yourself when you're using these products and use them the proper way. Everything is going to be toxic to you if you don't use it properly. Back to this question that people, a lot of people have been asking me, and it was even before this virus, and that is, should I be using microfibers in my home? Is microfibers a effective solution against germs and bacteria? I, I, I admittedly used these for many, many years. All right, here's one. I've got a purple one here nice and soft. Um, I sold these in my retail store for a few years. Um, I knew one of the largest distributors of them in the United States in my retail years. <laughs> and I always asked them, I was like, what makes yours different? But then I started doing a little research and finding out what these are really made out of. And it is made out of a non-renewable source. This is basically plastic. These are made from crude oil. All right, and you just can't take this towel and stick it back in the earth and, and imagine in a couple years we're gonna get oil. It takes millions of years to get oil. But there is certain care and conditions you have to take with your microfibers, like not using a harsh detergent in your washer. I'm actually in my laundry room, AKA my mixing room. <laughs> when you get these microfibers, you do have to take good care of them, meaning no harsh detergents. You're not supposed to be putting them in the dryer. Um, and they do have a shelf life. I remember dating mine. Like, I think it has like a two year shelf life or something like that. So I remember dating mine with a Sharpie. This is something that you would be constantly buying every couple years, if not every year, depending on how much you, again, for them to be effective, no harsh detergents and no dryer, right? If you were washing them in your washing machine. Then I highly recommend you invest in what's called a, um, this one's called a guppy bag. Um, I have the little I have a little container here. So this is a Guppy Friend washing bag and it's meant to stop the microplastic waste. What is a microplastic? So a microplastic is any piece of plastic smaller than five millimeters considered microplastic. It may even be the littlest fiber that comes off of this microfiber. Why would I want to get invest in this $30 bag to wash my microfibers? I mean, our Many of our clothing items are made out of the same material. So you really, your yoga pants, you really should be putting in one of these bags. Microfibers shed and microplastics get into our waterways, into our water system. And one third of our drinking water is polluted with microplastics. Please take care if you're going to use these. Invest in one of these guppy friend bags. This is for microplastic waste. You basically put it in here, you zip it up, you'll wash it, you put it through the washer, you'll take it out, you'll hand dry it, air dry it, hang dry it. And then um, after you use this for a certain period of time, you would take this to be recycled. You do not rinse this bag. It literally said it right across the, the, the top. Do not rinse this bag. This bag then can be recycled along with all the microfibers, the, the microplastics that were collected. Every product you bring in your home, you have to look at from a good, a better, and a best scenario. Alrighty? Is this the best scenario for me? Not for me. 
but it may be for your home. Maybe you don't want to bring in essential oils to clean your home. Maybe you don't want to bring in Clorox or Lysol wipes. Maybe you don't feel safe just scrubbing your floors or your, your, um, your stair rails with plain soap and water. And that's okay. Those are decisions that you have to make. But when you're making these decisions, please look at it from that good, better, best option. And for me, microfibers are not something I choose to bring in my home anymore. Again, they take a lot of care, a lot of effort, and I just don't want to be putting the plastics into just buy more synthetic materials that I have to put into a bag to wash to save my drinking water. Environmental toxin expert and educator, thank you for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoyed my video. Bye-bye.